So what I've done, I skipped the famine and the pollution stages just because they're, they're pretty quick and we discussed a little bit what the famine was going to be, that it was going to be four graves and pollution was two spaces. So I just put them there. Um, I feel like that way I don't have to do as much recording <laughs> and editing. So helping myself out in the long run. Now the problem is this is the next day. So I have very little memory as to what my plan was for this particular game. I know that I had figured out how many, how much food and how many luxury items I needed. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see how close they are. Uh, they're pretty close. Okay. It's okay. It's not, it's not a foregone conclusion yet. I mean, I am probably going to lose it, but it's not a foregone conclusion yet. So we have six workers. We are going to get more because I'm going to build some houses. So first what I need to do in order to be able to build more than one house, I need to clean up these graves. So let's man the hospital. Let's clean these graves up. Great. Okay. Now I want to build a city. I need to build a city. So let's put a cart for a city. And that'll be a wood, a stone, one food, and two luxuries. So that'll leave us two luxury and three food. Let me look at my list. Two luxury and three food. We could build 18. I'm tempted to build 18 and 17. Get that big boy out of the way. Because it'll be easier to get the little ones later. And Lash, well, let's see, because we're going to want the university manned, and we're going to man the dump, we'll do a biology, do a biology, <laughs> and then we'll do something else. Probably wood, oh, we're getting some wood. How much more wood do we need? Two, two, three. Well, that's all the wood we're going to need, actually. We don't need any more wood. Um, so we'll do a biology probably here. We'll alchemy the space and then plant sheep or something. And then we will, what else will we do? We'll have one more worker. We could build an inn with one of the food. If we build an inn. Yeah, I have enough stone to do the buildings. Okay. Either an inn or a gold mine. Okay, well, if we do an inn, that'll use one of our foods. So we'll have max two food and two luxury. 16 is four food and one luxury. 14 is three food and one luxury. These are all three food. I chose all the three foods like a genius. So we'll just do, so we can't do an inn. We'll do... We're going to have so many workers. Might do another cart. Maybe we should. Okay. Well, let's just do 18 and 17. We know we're going to have to anyway. We'll do wheat and olives. And then for luxury goods, 
we'll do, we still have wine being produced. That's the only luxury good we currently have being produced. That's not great. Okay. We will, that's what we'll need to do. That's what we'll do with our extra three food. Our extra worker. So we'll do 18 and 17. Cross those off my list. So we only have six more houses to build. Great. We need a ton of stuff to do it. And we are going to build a cart here. a fishery probably oh we won't be able to do a fishery because we use that extra wood mm. that's okay and we'll do explore just in case we can get to that flag in the east okay so we know we know we need to build a city and that's going to take all of our resources, except for two stone. Great. Okay, so, oh, we can't build a city. Oh no, oh no. There's no legal place to build a city, is that the problem? Yeah, that's the problem. Can I make a space that'll be legal next turn? Without an in? I don't think so. All right, well, no city this turn. Let's do a woodcutter, I guess. Where are we cutting wood? I don't wanna do a woodcutter there. Okay, well, we're doing an in so that we can build a city next time. Let me put an in. Even putting it in here isn't gonna help us build a city. Cause the only places we can put a city, we could put a city up here next time. Once this stone is uh, mined, we can put a city here. We can put a city Here, he, no, here. There aren't that many places for cities. Here. All right, we'll probably, we're gonna have to just put it over here. Which means we need to build an inn within range of this hex. So that's either gonna be this one or this one. I'm gonna do this one. I'd like to keep that mountain free. Plus that in there would make all this become part of mine as well during if I have the harbor active. Okay, so we also want, it doesn't help me, it helps me with the city, but it doesn't help me with the wood right now. Whereas if I built in in here, it wouldn't help me with wood right now either. Oh boy. Okay, let's reset it. Let's, where are we cleaning and planting? We're gonna clean here. And we'll biology, some kind of food. Let's do sheep here. So we have three more carts, cheapers, and an explorer. I can't get to where this explorer is within my, or this discoverer is within my range. So we're just gonna ignore that for now. Um, 
We have a wood and a wheat. So we could conceivably do both of those. All right, we're gonna have to, hmm, we need to do one of them. If we do an in here, so that we can build our city here. Problem with that is if that's my city, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do what did I need more of? Did I need more of luxury or food? <coughs> Excuse me. Luxury. So let's do die these three spaces. Okay, I think that's the best choice that we have. All right, cool. Let's validate it. Yes, please. Yeah. So it's telling me I have manned carts left, which I do. I have one manned cart left. But I don't have any wood and I don't have any food, so there isn't anything that I can build. You can tell me that warning all you want, game. It's not going to affect anything. Harvest. So that's where our city is going to go. So it doesn't matter where we harvest from. Get these goods. Much like direct action, we get the goods. How did they already? Oh, they have nine, 12 famine. They covered all famine. Whereas <laughs> we have five famine. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, we'll just fill forced labor with graves. Excellent. And then we'll have pollution. All right, and then we'll come back after pollution. I'm gonna have two pollution. I'm gonna put here since I'm gonna build the city here anyway. I'm just gonna put it in one of these, two of these four spaces. Okay, so we're back to city building. I can't build any houses because I don't have any room because I didn't build a city, but that's okay. Next time we'll be able to build, this time we'll be able to build a city. We're good for that. Um, yipes. All right, so let's man the hospital so we can clear out forced labor. We're not gonna use forced labor, but just so we can clear it out. We'll man the university, we'll man the dump. How many workers do we have left? Four? Great. We'll just man all the carts. And then anything we're able to do out in the countryside, we'll do. It's not going to be much. Um, let's take a look. Let's do that. And let's clean those graves out of forced labor. And we'll check and see how our opponent is doing. You know what? Maybe we'll unman one of the carts and man the explorer. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll be within range of the Explorer. We might as well get that good. Okay, great. So we're going to validate this because nothing else is going to change. There's nothing else that we can build. We don't have room to build. Um, so we're just waiting for our opponent to do their city building, which hopefully will happen within the span of this video. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, so we know that we are going to spend a wood, a stone, one of these foods, and two of these resources on a city right here is where we're going to build that city. Great. 
So then we'll have three food left over, just three food left over. And we'll have three cards and an alchemy. So we will alchemy, say we'll alchemy up here and plant something there. We can plant something here and we can plant something here. Yeah, that's gonna be the plan. I think what we'll plant is a wine from biology and then we'll just plant whatever food we have available after the city building. Um, and then we'll get this worker back, this worker back, this worker back. The three workers we'll get back, so we'll have three, four, five, six, seven workers, and we'll be able to build a house. Okay. How much, less than ideal, how much, how much food am I going to have at the end of the round? If I use three of these, one for the city, and two for planting, all in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven food. Right, let's write that down. Seven food, and how many luxury goods? I'll have two left over, two, three, and then four from the wine. Which means I'll be able to build house 20. So it'll be 20 and 19. Then I'll be one lux left, which would let me build a fountain. I'll be able to build the other faculties. I won't have enough wood to build I'm gonna need one more wood to build the market, the harbor, and the storage. So I'll have to do a wood, okay. Let's see. If we divide this into turns. Next turn, I can build house 20 and house 19. Fountain, the two faculties. And I'll have one wood. So I'll probably do the harbor, which means the next turn I need to build 16, has a 16 and 13, and then the third turn, 13 and 11. Just priority wise, if I can get it all done in one turn, that would be even better. Um, so I'll have one wood, I'll need to build a woodcutter next turn and that'll be that one wood so that two turns from now I can build the market and storage will be that third turn unless I can do it sooner fountain faculties Faculties, Fountain, Harbor, Market, Stables. Do Stables that turn. Okay, so to build 16, I'm gonna need four different food. Well, four food, because I'll have the Faculty of Philosophy at that point, and one luxury. In two turns, will I have four food? One, two, and I'm planning two more. So I will, and I'll have one luxury. And then to build 14 and 11, I'm going to need three different food and one luxury. And I'll have one luxury at least. Yeah, I'll have that. Okay, great. So I can, I'll be able to end it in three turns. It's a matter of if they're able to end it sooner, which they very well might be. Um, what we'll have to do. Let me reload this and see if they've done their thing. No, we 
There's still city building. So they can finish those buildings this turn. Three different food, three different looks. Two different, they're one. Well, hold on. Three different food, three different looks, four different food, two different looks. If they did those two, that's seven food, they have seven food, and five luxury. They have, oh, they're gonna win this turn. I'm three turns away. <laughs> They're definitely going to win this turn. Because they can do... They just need to put out the Faculty of Philosophy and the Faculty of Theology here and here, and that's two stone, which they have. And then the market will go here for a wood, which they have. And then one wood for a storage. They can clear out those graves. And then... They'll have two spaces here for two houses and two here for two houses. And they'll build those two houses. Seven food and five luxury. And they got it. Great. So I'll come back when the game is over. We can see the end game solution. Um, I'm not going to go through all the land building and the pollution and the, well, They'll need to be able to handle, yeah, they built all their buildings, like I thought, and they built all their houses, which also like I thought. Famine might be a problem for them. Because they're going to get two food from here, three food. They might plant more. Six. So they need to be able to get seven food to deal with famine. Otherwise, they're going to have to put graves in their buildings, which means they wouldn't be able to win with Santa Barbara. Hmm. Okay, so we'll see what happens then with... Huh. We'll see what happens with famine. Famine's going to be the the big tell here. Um, so there's been a little bit of excitement. You might recall that there was a exploration token down here, and I had a manned explorer. You might also recall that if an edible agricultural good is found through the exploration token, it'll increase famine by one level. I discovered olives, which increased famine level by one. And my opponent had only prepared for a famine level of 13, so they had to place a grave. Which means that they can't fulfill Santa Barbara's requirement. And as such, they aren't going to be able to win this turn because they have a grave and forced labor. So, we bought ourselves another round. Um, how beneficial that's gonna be? I don't think it's gonna be beneficial. I'm gonna need at least another city in order to build all of these buildings because I have four carts. And I'm just not gonna have room for everything that I need to have room for. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I got some thinking to do in that regard. Um, I might have to abandon this path, and if I do and save these resources, I might actually be able to win and not worry about paying for all these things. Um, so we'll take a look at it next round, see if we can get closer. Here we go. We're just going to have to place this pollution. Unless it's these, hold on, let's reset it. Because if I don't need any more, or do I need more wood? Three wood. I do need more wood. I'm gonna have to build down here. Okay, so we'll just do like that. I could have done that wood. It's fine. We'll validate it. 
And here we go. All right, back in it. Completely on accident. It turned out to be a good strategic move to explore. Um, I don't want to do this anymore. I think I want to try to go for three of each of these. Um, so, I think I'm going to go for three of each of these and these buildings. If I want to do that, I'm going to need more wood. I might have to force labor too. Exciting. It's exciting times. Okay, let's finish the university first. So we're going to place this over here. We're gonna place this here. Director's done. We're gonna hmm. don't man the hospital yet. Let's Santa Barbara. Yeah, let's say well argh. you know what? Let's man the hospital so we don't have to move those graves. Let's just clean them up now. Clean them. Side note, this is the fewest graves I've had playing this game. All right, now let's Santa Barbara. The university over. So we can just have one worker in there. We'll validate Barbara. That's one of my favorite prompts. I just feel like we're like, you know what, Barbara? It's okay. Like, your actions make sense. You are validated in how you feel about this situation. Okay, so let's man the dump. And now we need a new page of notes. So we're going to need... We're gonna need to build that woodcutter. And we're gonna need three luxury items in addition to the eight that we're gonna need for that. Oh, I wonder if it would be. Okay, because there's six that we have to place, six more houses we have to place. We have to place a fountain, which is one. The harbor, let's say we go like that. The fountain, stables, store. Could I finish it here? They only had three cards, right? One, two, three. So how? They're all full. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so I have six more houses. Let's say that blocks that off. The market and the stables both are two by two. Let's say there and there. Oh, I see. Well, let's say we put the harbor like that. Houses. I don't understand what I'm missing. We need to put the harbor, which is six squares. And then the market is four. The stables are four. The storage is two. The fountain is one. And the houses are six. Oh, I see. Do I? Yeah, I'm one over. Am I? Ten. 14, 16, 17. I need 23 squares. So 3 times 6 is 18, 20. Oh, yeah, I'm 3 short for the cart. I don't know what I was forgetting. 
doesn't matter. Okay. Which means without building a city, I can't do both of these. I have to choose which one. Obviously, if I'm going to have to do this, I don't want to have to do this. Fine. Decided. Great. Okay. Whatever. Let's just go with it. So, woodcutter, I'm going to need one wood, two, three wood. Great. One for the harbor. All right. Three wood. I can always trade those stone in for something in the market if it comes to that. Food. I need three fish, one wheat, and then I need two dye, two pearl, two wine, two gold. It's going to be hard to get that gold because I covered it up with that in. That's a mountain. That's, I guess I could do up here. I have to build an inn. Okay, so if I need three wheat, I need or three fish, I need to figure that out. Wheat, I'm good for. I'm going to be growing the wheat here. Dye, I need one more dye. I'm going to get one from here. Pearls, I need. Wine. Didn't I have a place for wine? I got my wine down there. Wine is good over the course of two rounds. If I build a gold mine, then it'd be good. So I need a lot of oh, fisheries cost wood. Well, I'm pretty much boned then. I mean, I guess I'll get extra stuff that I can trade. I'm getting one more wood from here. You know what? That'll be the plan whether or not it works remains to be seen. Okay, so we'll just man all of our carts. I don't want to man forced labor. Or do I? I would get two wheat. I would lose that wood, but I would get two wood from over here. I would get one olive, I'd get two sheep, I'd get one wine, and I'd lose that dye. I feel like it's not worth it. It's not. Okay, cool. We're not building any more houses. Fine, validate it. Validate it. So, we've got some things we need to do. We need to make a woodcutter over here. We need to use alchemy. Let's use it. Because what do I need? I mean, what I really need fish dye and pearls. Hmm. Okay. Let's not. Let's make an inn. I'd like to make an inn where I can unpollute this and then build a fishery. Problem is I can't get in there because this is here. So I'm gonna have to harvest that for sure this turn. Okay, so in the meantime, let's just alchemy. Yeah, let's just alchemy this. And then we'll put, we can do two things there. So we'll put a, doesn't matter what, we'll put a wheat there. And then we'll put, I have a sheep, so we'll put a sheep there. 
And then it matters. Because whatever I put there, I'm just putting there to be able to take it back and then polluting that space. So I'll just validate. And then we'll go to harvest. Nine, ten, thirteen. Okay, they're definitely gonna win at the end of this round. <laughs> okay, all right, excellent. So it's actually, well, I already said good game. So good for me. <laughs> I'm so polite. Okay, and I can't explore. I can't affect the famine level any further. They are good. They are gonna win. We got a little bit closer <laughs> to winning. We delayed it a little bit, but not far enough. Um, I would say my biggest probably my biggest regret in the game is building my city so far away from anywhere where I can get stone. Stone is pretty important to get at the beginning. Not just for the cathedral, but also for the dump. Like stone stone is useful in general. Um, I probably should have built closer to this range up here so that I could at least get that stone and then start building down towards here. Um, but other than that, I mean, I think it was a pretty solid game. I was two rounds off, I would say, I think. If I planned it well, which I think I've shown I cannot do very easily, then I would have, I think I would have won. Or at least been closer to winning. And so that is Antiquity. I hope that was helpful, and I hope that you have a great rest of your day.